2 ocean liner build by Ravel and in this video um, what I've started to do is work on the upper deck balconies so if you watch the video before you would have seen that I did painted all the floors of the balconies here on the lower decks that go along the top of the hull and they're all done now what I've got that came in the mail is this which is some clear acetate or clear plastic basically and there it is there so the idea I've got probably about five sheets here is that I'm going to use this and cut it and fit across the back of these like this so it'll take two pieces to cover each section and what that will do is I turn it over this way looking at it the right way is that will put see what we're looking at there are glass sliding doors that go into the rooms and come and they or you come out of the room onto your balcony now um, what this will do will put uh, glass in those doors so you'll get a bit of a light reflection in there so that's what I bought the plastic for so what I'm going to do is um, not yet but I will be gluing that to the back of this but in the meantime I thought well it took me quite a bit of time to paint all those floors individually I have more to do is what I've got here which is the upper decks now these have to be all these balconies when we look at it the right way around so all these balconies here all the floors have to be done that same brown color so I will be individually painting all of those um, the tricky part here is that the front of them has to be white see all this is visible so the front of these will have to stay white while the floor inside will be brown so I'm thinking of um, running some tape along there not too sure yet just to cover that up so I don't get brown on the wrong part um, I will uh, undercoat these like I did with the other ones with a primer, which is a white primer, uh, Mr. Surfacer. Um, and then I will paint this the gloss white that it's supposed to be, so that all the rest of it, which is supposed to be white, will be done. The walls, all the individual walls that divide the balcony cabins, will all be white. And then I'll come along with the brush and once again individually paint all the floors. Now one thing I've noticed with this is that there's a lot of flashing um, in here in the windows. So I don't know why it's happened but one side, even though they've come off the same sprue, one side's a lot better than the other. <laughs> so most of these balconies are quite good you, you can see through there they're, they're nice they're not perf perfect if we come in and look close you'll see that all those glass sliding doors are sort of a little bit wonky but there's nothing I can do about that now if we look at this one there's sections in here that see this where the, the plastic flashing in there is completely covering it so that's all going to have to be cleared and opened up um, there's a bit more down the other end as well but it's not a difficult thing all it is is a matter of getting a knife in here so you can see them there all those need to be opened up so you just touch your knife in there and basically all that plastic will just it just flakes off um, you know just going like this just down each side poke it all through 
and that'll all come off. Just have to go through all the back of this one. The other one was fine. The other one had hardly any. Uh, this one's got quite a bit more. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go along and um, clear, clean all that up. Get a uh, primer coat on both of these pieces. And yeah, and then I can uh, do some more, um, get the base coat white on there. And you can see here there's more bits of plastic just blocking there all flashing in there as well whereas on this piece didn't have anything it was all quite nice so I don't know why I guess that's just the way it came out anyway it could be worse <laughs> um, yeah, there's a little bit on top there too you can see a little bit of rough edge around on there but that can all just be smoothed out alright so back shortly and we'll have a look at a bit more progress Cheers. Okay, welcome back. And what I've done here was I managed to scrape off all the excess bits of sprue and stuff. And there's a lot more than I thought. This actually took me hours to do. Um, one side was a lot better than the other, had a lot less. Um, but this particular one here, uh, it was all blocked. Bits and pieces around here. Uh, all in the back of here had to be cleared out. It's nowhere near perfect, but I just um, <laughs> I don't have the patience to go through every individual because they are pretty much glass sliding doors in there on the balconies that lead into the rooms. And as much as I got what I could, there's no way I could spend, you know, five minutes on every one of those doorways because some of them have three or four or two panes of glass in there and if you try to square off those frames to get them all looking perfectly there's literally like a thousand of them here <laughs> um, no not for me uh, I'm, I've come to the conclusion that um, it's a shame that their quality control didn't pick up um, that um, especially when these come off the same sprue and you've got one that was pretty much 90% uh, um, clear of plastic whereas this one was like a lot lot worse um, but anyway it's done now and uh, I, what I'll do now is I'll go wash them in some warm soapy water, get off any excess plastic that's floating around in there. And then I can get a couple of coats of uh, uh, primer on there. Okay, back shortly. Hello and welcome back. So what I'm doing now is while I'm um, previously letting those um, plastic bits dry because I just washed them all to get any loose plastic off it uh, they're going to take a bit of time to dry properly before I um, put a clear coat uh, a primer coat over them but what I did in the meantime was I've got some of this acetate which I'm going to put on here I think I showed it to you earlier so these will be the backs and these will form the glass in the back of the doors that go off the balconies or off the rooms onto the balconies and I've cut them and you can see that they sit on there so that will put that reflection of glass in the, all the windows so that'll be good now at the moment I'm just doing a bit of experiment on what glue I'm going to use um, I was going to use my Meg, Meg Ultra which was this one the Ultra Glue because it's for photo etch and clear parts so this is good for gluing canopies and things like that because um, it, it dries clear well supposedly dries clear um, when I put some on and I did a little test spot uh, it, it didn't quite dry as clear as I wanted it to so I've gone off using that 
and instead now I'm going to use some PVA wood glue. So this is high strength, clear drying, water cleanup for wood, paper, cardboard, cloth, foam, laminating, veneers, particle board, leather. So I'm pretty sure that this should be fine for this. I've got a little piece of plastic um, drying at the moment. I'm going to, we'll go back and see how that goes. Um, and uh, just as a test piece. And if that all goes well, I'll be able to glue this down and then make one up for the other side as well. Also, um, while all that's happening, uh, as you can probably tell, I'm not really following the instructions from step one right through. This is a very, very complicated build and a very repetitive build. So there's a lot of parts here where you know, you've got to do things like you saw. I had to paint all the balconies. It was 490 odd balconies. And I still have another, I don't know, 600 to go. Um, these things I don't want to put on video because you don't want to be watching me doing that for hours. So that all has to be done behind the scenes. And another little thing I found behind the scenes is the lifeboat supports. So this is forward into step 51 and 52, where we've got the supports that hold the lifeboats along the, um, the deck. Now, what I'm doing is uh, I had a look at it and I thought, right, well, if I start putting these together, because there's 14 of these three pieces of this size, and there's eight of the, for the larger lifeboats, um, so what I would be doing is have a close look at that. So these just have to be painted clear, um, gloss white, uh, the same as the side of the superstructure of the ship. Um, so and there's a couple little holes there where these locating points go in there. So these will sit sort of against like that, and then this one will go in like that. And then we'll have another rack, another support on the other side. Now, what I'm finding is that there's quite a bit of cleanup. There's a lot of seams on here uh, that need to be cleaned, particularly if you can see between the pins, because when they're put in, they don't sit flush. And so they have to be tidied up. There's along here, there's where the sprue was where they're taking off the sprue that has to be cleaned up so there's a lot of little bits of work on these there's some more there um, there's also a little bit more detail I noticed than on these I mean these look quite good but if you look on board the ship itself you can actually see there's like a little handrail around the bottom um, is a little bit more detail but either way what I need to do is put all these pieces together now so I need to put them all together sorry this is going out of focus um, so I'll get these pieces and get them glued together and then I'll paint them after they're all glued together so they'll just get as usual another um, primer coat and then the gloss white will go over the top um, and then I'll go in and we'll, and have a look at whether there's any um, other um, bits in there that might need touching up. Like there could be something that needs a bit of metallic colour on there that's not white. From what I have seen of the video of the actual ship, these are pretty much all white. Um, but we'll just see. So this gives me stuff to do. So there's quite a lot as you can see take all these off and clean them all up there's all the supports there's all these and there's another another rack there full of them as well and I'll put them into plastic containers and uh, first cleaned up and then uh, fitted and glued together and have them all set aside for when the time comes that I need to to um, put these pieces on all right so I will get back into it again back shortly okay so I'm back with the piece that I used the wood glue on 
and pretty much doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, didn't stick at all. So that's not going to work. So what I've decided now I will do to stick this is I'm just going to use my Loctite super glue. Um, I know this will work. This is this is super glue, and just a matter of placing it uh, in spots where uh, the windows won't be on the other side. Um, so and only on tiny spots. So I might only need to mark about say eight points all the way along the length, and uh, and it should sit on there fine. So to give you another idea, so. So where that's going to be, you can see that, all I'll do is just place, because there's where it starts and there's the finish of it down here. So it would just be a matter of just putting a tiny little point, you know, in about half a dozen places, top and bottom, and that will definitely hold that in place. I just thought some of these clear options might work, but obviously not um, so yeah glad I tried it otherwise I would have might have ended up having a mess uh, and have to recut some more fresh bits of plastic um, as for the lifeboat uh, supports which I'm sure there's a better name for uh, a proper name for um, here they are here that's the different sizes there's two different sizes and there's a hell of a lot of, look at them all. <laughs> so I have to go through every one of these and just tidy up all the seam lines uh, or mould lines and, uh, and get them looking good and make sure that when I point, when I put these in, that they're gonna sit in there nice and flush and everything will be nice and square okay so that this should take me a little bit of time <laughs> uh, very repetitive but that's fine um, yeah so I'm gonna make a start on these and uh, we'll come back and have a look later cheers okay hello welcome back so uh, I've made some progress here I've got all of the uh, 14 done so we'll just have a quick look they're all glued together. Uh, so that'll focus for me, yes. So there they are. So they'll hold the lifeboats on. Now I have tested these and I will be able to slide the lifeboat on there without having to pull this apart. <laughs> and these do fit straight into the side of the um, the top of the hull where they're supposed to go so that's all fine these just need to be painted white um, the gloss white that most of the ship is um, but what I did notice on some of these was even though the detail is quite good they did need a bit of cleaning up for a little bit of um, plastic sticking out not where it doesn't belong and that but they cleaned up quite well no problem um, I would have thought that being the platinum kit with photo etch that they would have included um, some photo etch for these. I think that would have been a good opportunity um, because some of these parts in here and on the side, um, some more detail could have been added with photo etch. Um, there's like a, a, a pulley system on these that run through and uh, I'll put a picture up you can have a look at the real thing and just see how much detail um, is left out there's also down on the bottom of these racks there's a little bit of a, a railing that goes around the bottom uh, you know I mean I could make up something and put them all on there and go to the trouble of adding that bit of detail but <laughs> uh, you know how far do you go you know I think they look fine as they are um, when they are painted white, um, they won't look much different to what they do now other than have a bit of a, a shine to them. Um, as for weathering, maybe, maybe do a bit of, uh, you know, 
touches here and there just to show a little bit of shading effect on them might help might might fix them a bit but even on the actual ship itself these did look quite clean and there was no real grease or grimy marks on them at all so I pretty much leave basically leave them mostly as they are Okay, so that's those ones. There's also the ones for the larger lifeboats, which are exactly the same setup. The only difference being that the cross section here is a little bit longer. There's eight of those, and that's what I'm about to put together now. And that will be finished. And what I'll do is I will most likely use my little alligator clips here. At least that's what we call them here. And hold them like that and then I'll stick them in my little foam uh, piece like that and that's my paint way of painting them. Um, fortunately I don't have about 20 of these so I might have to work out some other way as well but yeah I'll get these um, undercoated with Mr. Surfacer first and then um, put the main coat of uh, white gloss white on there okay so uh, I shall continue back shortly okay so I'm just about to go and paint these up and I just took a bit of time looking at a bit more detail from the actual ship and I found that if you look here there's a little cable in there if I can show you hopefully this will focus for me All right so this here in the back and there's one on this side in here as well um, they're actually cables so they're wire cables that um, go through there so what I'm thinking is they're not actually white they're going to be a silvery grey colour it's not focusing is it still doesn't want to focus probably the best it'll get there yeah so those little cables are like a little pulley system um, they're not white so what I will do is just make them a probably a, a gray as in I might use a metallic I have a metallic gray or let me just check what I got here is metal black so maybe metal black but I will be doing those on every one of these just touch them up just to break up the white a little bit and um, and to show that they are actually cables in there not uh, white metal like the rest of it okay so once again back after I painted these up cheers okay hello welcome back everybody so I thought I'd have a little bit of an unboxing of this little delivery I've been waiting on and uh, Let's uh, let's have a look what we got here. Just open this up. Now I know you're not worried about my address on there. It's a post office box. You're welcome to send me anything you want. <laughs> yeah, as long as it doesn't go bang. Okay, what have we got here? Okay, so interesting. A box of creativity from POSC Art. So we've got oh, a little bit, what's this? A little bit sweetener. So we've got like some lollies in there, soft lollies. It's alright, it's a snake and other stuff, that's good. Or if you're in America, I guess that's called sweets. <laughs> um, we've got a uh, oh, here we go. So this was saying, thank you for placing your order with Mega Thing. Um, your parcel was carefully packed by, looks like Nolene. So that's very good. Um, what else do we have? Posca Art, uh, a sticker. So there's a, a sticker. I don't think I'll put that on the ship, but I might put it somewhere. Quite impressive, all this stuff here. What do we got here? Oh, we've got $90 off your first four boxes of HelloFresh uh, meal order. 
ninety dollars off for for code there. That, that's pretty good. Very good. Drink me, naked wines, hundred dollar wine voucher. Not bad. Good. And this is postcard. Okay. Oh, here we go. So this is showing a range. So basically, this is what I ordered. So these are the Posca um, paint textures, I guess you'd call them. Pens, paint pens. So there's a quite a nice color chart and color range here. Um, if you happen to order from these, they're a bit limited on the really small ones like fine tipped ones which was what these are but they got what I needed I think so that's all good so we'll put that aside um, the box itself move that so here they are so we've got a few colors here and take the rubber band off and have a look okay so we've got I bought two white so these are the two white ones and they are one a 0 0.7 of a millimeter thickness very tiny um, acrylic paint this is a white um, so I'm looking forward to using that move this aside I'll eat, eat those later um, then I have black we got the black, same size, 0 0.7 of a millimeter. Black. Now, and this one, which I just took a chance on buying, same thing, 0 0.7 millimeter. Uh, and this is a brown. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to be the brown I want to use that will suit, but basically, what these are for is for the um, the railings and the glass so I'll show you here so on this piece here which I've actually already painted um, a, a tint over I'm not sure if these are specifically but if, if you look real carefully and if we get this up you can see there's little lines see all the little lines in there so they are like all the balustrade and, and sections. So they need to be painted black, all those ones up and down. And that's why I've got the black. They will be black. And the brown, I'm hoping, will be the brown I want to use. Um, and I'll be comparing that to the color I actually did choose for the tops of the railings around the ship, which is the top of these pieces of glass or plastic and, that, and these are much easier than a paintbrush if I can just draw them along I'm hoping now I have to thank uh, Jason from model kit stuff who recommended these um, and uh, I had no idea these even existed to make life a bit easier in building this model so that's what I plan to use for those. Uh, the white, oh yes, and the white ones. I bought two of those because all of the photo etch around the outside of the ship, like on all the decks, most of the decks, probably all, I think, um, have to be white. All the railings are all white. So if we can look through here going way forward in the instructions um, you'll see there's railings here now they're just showing the kit parts but this is the platinum edition which comes with photo etch to replace the kit parts um, and we'll, we'll get to that but the idea is that it might be easier for me I think to paint these um, with these by just drawing across them I don't know how that'll work um, maybe I'll give them a coat of paint using the airbrush first uh, it just depends on what process I'll go through whether it's um, you know
putting the railings on before I paint or when I have to paint them before they get put on uh, in which case I'd, I'd be able to use an airbrush but in some cases it might be easier to put them on the ship and then run across them with this um, anyway just a few options I've got but otherwise yeah there we go the Posca paint pens okay um, I'll get on with uh, some more and we'll be back I'll be back shortly okay welcome back so what I've done is I've got these all painted up and uh, they've all come up uh, white with a bit of gloss so nicely done uh, I did a, a Mr. Surface uh, primer over them as well before I put the top coat on they're all done now I'm doing those little cables that go on the back that I showed earlier and I'm doing them in a this is a Mr. Hobby metal black and I'll show you I've just done this one here get that to focus you'll see see how those cables are on, the, on there there you go just to break up the white a bit And, uh, yeah, so that's how they'll be sort of mounted on the side of the ship, sort of that way, where the lifeboats will sit, hang off here, and those bits that look like cable, metal black, a little bit, I uh, didn't need a, a very fine little um, brush to get in there and do them. All right, so. Uh, if you'd like to watch me do the all of these no I'm sure you don't <laughs> uh, I'll do this off camera so I'm sure you've got better things to do than watch me doing this um, and uh, yeah that's it um, that's it I'll call this a video because we've been going for quite a bit of time we're over the half hour mark um, again as usual thanks for watching um, please comments are welcome down below um, any suggestions or ideas you have um, that'd be great put them down there in comments give us a thumbs up if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if this is the first time you've watched this video then you should be going back to step one first the first video or even the unboxing in this playlist and watch the whole series up to where we're at um, okay, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you all in part six. Bye for now. Cheers.